In this tutorial, we'll take a look at uh, some more cloth effects with the physics effector of wind in here that I have, and some, um, I don't know, maybe we'll put some grass in the scene as well. So this surface, I forget, I think it's just a fractal base surface. I've done a tutorial on that before. And over here is this giant wind field right here. Here's force field, and it's set at wind, and it's really strong wind. And then, uh, so it's just constantly blowing through the seam which is blowing the cloth so the important thing is if you haven't seen my cloth tutorials is making sure your vertex groups are set properly so obviously what I have in here I have these pinned to the ground so they can't move and I have, this must be pinned up here to the stake so it can't move and then all the other vertices in the mesh are free to float and there must be a fair amount of vertices in here well it's actually not that much to make it look pretty smooth but yeah those must be oh and I don't have every other one pinned kind of like a real tent would be. Of course if you're going to do a design of a tent, I've, I saw a design somewhere else and it was very intricate. I mean they had ropes that were in detailed stakes and the whole nine yards but I'm more interested in just animation. Oh there it goes. Alright so maybe what we'll do in here, maybe we'll add a particle system to the scene. Now that's a fairly big plane as well but so we'll, we'll just see how challenging it is for the processor. So we'll add a particle system but we can see it's just spewing out particles from it like that. Maybe I'll limit it just to come out of the vertices for starters and I'll turn it into hair particles. Mm -hmm. Like that. And I know the wind can affect this but that's to such a great extent. Yeah it must be the wind that's doing it. In fact we'll verify that by grabbing this particle and we'll just rotate it on X and we'll see there it is. So the wind effector is affecting the particles in the scene like that for the grass. All right. And so then if we really we just cut down the length dramatically. Okay. And then I guess the way we could actually make this turn into grass, well we could crank up the number of particles like this. We could just take this RX. Yeah, you could just do a little oscillation effect on the wind object itself like that and so just set up keyframes for the object and then you could simulate grass moving in the scene as well except why well, actually would, what I would do when I take a look at it now I would make sure to set up the keep the wind on the same layer as the tent and then move this over to we'll just move it to say layer 5 layer 5 like that and then I'm going to bring it back into the scene I'll bring layer 5 back in and I'm also going to make a copy of this and I'm going to move that to layer 5 as well and I'm going to bring that back into oh he's already in the scene so now I have two layers so I want the one on layer 5 see notice when I click between them the orange dot switches here so they're actually just two things affecting it and then this one so if I rotate this one here you'll see the grass change but if I get the one that's on layer one and rotate that one the grass doesn't change so that way I can keep this pointed at the wind like this then I'll go get the other one and I'll start it over here at, I'll pause this for a second and I'll just put a rotation keyframe in here and then I'll we'll just rough it out real quick and then I'll put another rotation keyframe in there like that. And this just kind of gives you an idea. And another one, eye rotation. Alright, well that's kind of for starters. And then this thing should be rot see, so now the grass, well it's not really grass yet. You'd have to shade it, but I have tutorials on shading hair particles. They can apply to the grass just as well. So then the grass will move separately from the wind affecting uh, the tent. Like that. Right? Alright, well I hope that gives you some ideas for your own animations, and I'll see you in the next lesson.